this island here was abandoned ever since I could remember. About 10, 15 years ago, those guys moved over here. We used to come to this island just to get wood for cooking maktak. That's all it was. And uh, get some geese, so you see some geese on this point. Then Walter and Maureen moved here, and then Hugh, and lots of people followed. And it's a good place. Most people were over at Kendall, that's where James and Okay. Hank's got their camp there. When I was a young lad, that's where we stayed. And Big Jim Rogers' family, and in the earlier days, there were well, 50, 60 tents there long ago. They, that would be the only camp around here. We used to all stay together. So all the men would hunt together, go out there, hunt together, and shared everything. We came with schooner and some small boats. But most of the time, we, when I was a kid, we came with a schooner. Well, they called it Ogivik and uh, Sea Queen. That was Juicy Puppik's one, and uh, Ogivik was Old Harry's one. And they take people down, mostly family, and jump in there, and we all come down here and stay down here till a couple of days before school starts. You know, you know, never rush them days. Like nowadays, you rush, rush down here and rush home. You get your way, cook it, and you're gone. That's the part I don't like. You, know? you should come down here and enjoy it, stay down here. If it is up to me, I stay here from the end of June to freeze up. But I ha unfortunately, I have to work. And my wife loves it here, I love it here. I always can't wait to come here. Especially on a beautiful day like this, you can't ask for anything more, man. But them guys, them older guys used to wait, huh? not us, us, we were too young. We always waited at home, and those guys, it must have been pretty good whale. I never witnessed it, but they used to get whale right from the schooner. They'd come home sometime with three, four whales, five, and you could tell how many they got, because they used to have little flags on the mast. If they got three flags on the mast, they got three whales. So all the women knew what to expect when they were coming home, and they'd get ready for work. Boy, when we used to cut them up long ago, there was four or five whales and you would work half the day and everybody would work. It was real, in them days it was real togetherness. Nobody staying here, nobody staying over there. We did everything together. But now you got fast boats, you could just go here, go there, whatever, you know. It's different now. Not like 30 years, 40 years ago anyway. We'd all stay at one camp, share everything. And, but nowadays, if you're not here in six hours, that's too long. It used to take us three days to come down here. And we never complained a bit. Like we, we were so happy we were coming whaling and spend the summer here. We, did, you know, we didn't know no other life. We'd come out of residential school and we can't wait to come here. So we'd stay up all night and hunt all day and whatever. You're free, like, you know, you, when, when I come here, I feel completely free. Like, there's nothing tying me down to do what I want. Nobody tell me what to do. Yeah. It's just a beautiful place to be. Everything's out in the open, boy, that's what I like. Mm -hmm. There's no bureaucracy here, nothing. There's nobody here higher up the ladder than anybody else, the way I look at it. I think there's a couple of people that, and, that come down here every year, but the price of gas now, holy smokes, and the lack of jobs in Inuvik yeah. and around the area, there's, that's prevent some people from coming down. But I tell you one thing for sure, you use your gas rather sparingly around here. You don't run like, I used to run around all over the place, go, you know, go for a picnic, go drive around, look around, show my kids the country. But it's, it's getting a little harder to do that because of the price of gas and the amount that you got to haul down here. And, you know, you try to keep most of it for hunting whale and like getting water and wood. But it does prevent some people from coming down. It's dollar forty-five a liter up in the weekend. You get a 45 gallon of gas, that's about putting you 400 bucks. 
I'm wondering if it'll make people start sharing again, though. Maybe people start sharing boats and. Well, first of all, you got to find a big schooner for sure. That would be nice. That was my dream, you know. When I worked for town, I worked there for a few years, and I was going to, I still could retire, but I was going to retire and buy a schooner. So I, but I told my wife, my kids, are, my grandchildren are all going to want to come with me for sure, and I said the price of gas is going to be astronomical. So I could just throw everything in my schooner and tow my boat down, my speedboat. Stay down here and use the boat, my speedboat for emergency to go back to Inuit. And I think it might come to that. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to the old times. Like a schooner can take, you know, six, seven families yeah. if you do it right. Mm -hmm. You know, put them all in there, all their supplies.